Now, the surprising foods that may be making you feel bad laid in laid bare in this new book, The Bloated Belly Whisper, written by dietitian Tamara Duker Freuman. She sat down with ABC's Eva Pilgrim to break it all down for you. It's that time of year when many of us hope a change in diet will help us lose a few pounds or fix digestive problems. But it turns out that eating healthy is not so simple when it comes to belly bloat. We all have different bodies. Our digestive systems all work a little bit differently. And not every objectively healthy, nutritious food will feel good in every person's body. Dietitian and author of the new book, The Bloated Belly Whisper, Tamara Duker Foyman, says there are common mistakes we all make during mealtimes, especially when it comes to choosing foods for digestive health. But we have cereal and oatmeal here in front of us. Why is that? Because some fiber cereals will add these uh, special types of fibers to boost their numbers. Uh, that can be very fermentable, cause a lot of gas in the gut. An alternative to high fiber cereal? Something like an oatmeal. The texture is a little bit less roughagey. Looking at lunch options here, and we have two versions of kale. Why is that? As your stomach is trying to turn that coarse, big bowl of kale into kale smoothie in your stomach, it is creating a lot of acid, a lot of churning, and some people can experience that as reflux. When you put it in a soup form, it's chopped up really, really fine. It's cooked down, the texture is really tamed. Cauliflower, first of all, is like the vegetable everyone's eating right now. It's in like all forms, from like regular cauliflower to cauliflower rice. The problem for many people is that when you eat it, especially in larger portions, it can be incredibly gassy. Zucchinis are much less gassy for people than cauliflower. You can turn them into noodles, you can put sauce on them. Freuman says that if fiber cereal, raw kale, and cauliflower don't cause digestive distress, don't stop eating them. It's all about listening to your body's reaction to what you eat. There are healthy foods out there that everyone can tolerate, and your health and wellness mission should be finding those foods, having that diet, and not wondering or worrying about what someone else is eating. All right, let's bring in dietitian and nutritionist Maya Feller. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good morning. So we just heard this is not a one size fits all. It's right. so individual, but the bottom line is many of us are eating foods we think are healthy that are actually causing problems. That's absolutely right. So because of the one size fits all, you know, if you have a sensitive stomach or constitution, you're not going to want to follow one of those trendy high fiber diets filled with vegetables because it might actually upset you. I know that's kind of contradictory to what we're hearing, but if your stomach is sensitive, you have to pay attention to what you're putting in and really make choices that suit you that's individually. Right. All right, let's start with breakfast. We heard about those high fiber cereals. Um, it, what's a good way to start the day if that's giving you problems? Right, so the reason that we're not going for this high fiber cereal is because it's gonna create a lot of bulk. Instead, we're gonna say, let's go for something like blueberries mm -hmm. or strawberries with a bit of oatmeal that's been well cooked. And you can also choose like a non-dairy beverage or lactose free milk, that okay. might help. All I right. like that quite a bit. All right, lunchtime, we heard about kale. I actually have to watch it. Certain types of kale can be problematic. So yeah. what's the alternative? Okay, so instead of this rough vegetables here, right, you're thinking again, bulk, it's going in. We're gonna go for some soup, something that has been cooked. The outer fiber has been broken down mm. a little bit. Maybe we're gonna have a spinach salad with, you know, cooked baby carrots. Sushi's also a great option if you are not looking for something that's gonna be incredibly bloated. All right, that's good. All right, now on to dinner. Uh, we have salmon, but with different sides, and that's the difference between perhaps right. belly bloat and feeling much better. Absolutely. So, you know, cauliflower is everywhere, right? It's like rice, it's pizza crust. People are all cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower. But that's like gas bloat, gas bloat, <laughs> gas bloat. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to say, you know, try something like zoodles that's yep. a little bit less bloaty, and well-cooked green beans are usually tolerated All right, well. and the cooking, I, I hear, is like a big part of this, because once you cook it, you break it down. Exactly. Okay. That's what you're taking that fiber, breaking All right. it down. Talk about what we should do with the snacks. Okay, so here again, I'm going to say you see this high fiber cereal bar. Yep. You're going to have to read the label. Some of them have like 46% of your daily value for fiber. That is mm. so much fiber. Your body simply can't handle it. The dried <laughs> fruits, no good. Instead, pepita seeds, yep. clementines. This is the season. These are amazing right now. A little bit of banana with nut yep. butter. Yum. You know, really fantastic. All right. Thank you. These are awesome solutions for problem. <laughs> 
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.